I recently came across a website that lets you make basic world maps for Mario Maker levels. I thought this was a really interesting idea, so I spent the past few days creating something similar in the Unity game engine. In this video, I'm going to explain what exactly this World Map Maker project is and how it works. World Map Maker is an open source Unity template I created that allows you to group together Mario Maker levels into custom world maps. When you enter a level on the world map, a menu opens that gives you a level code to enter into Course World, so you can walk around a map and try out all the levels. But, in a lot of cases, you don't want all the levels to be unlocked from the start, so you can also make levels on the map require passwords to be completed. Passwords are made up of blocks found in Mario Maker, so they can be easily put at the end of a level. This password here is note block, pow block, ice block, question block, so all you have to do is enter that combination to unlock the next level. Passwords are 4 blocks long and there are 9 unique blocks you can use in a password, meaning that there are 6,461 possible password combinations. With this system, you can require players to play levels on a map in chronological order and take levels with multiple exits. So, now that I've explained how this project works, I'll show you how you can actually use it to make your own maps. The maps are made up of three basic game objects, nodes, corners, and warps. Nodes are marked by big white dots in the scene view, and when you place a node on the map, you can set the name, number, and course ID of the level it corresponds to in the inspector. This is also where you can set a password that's required to complete the level. The password stored as four digits, with each digit corresponding to a symbol. Nodes have four destinations, an up destination, a down destination, a left destination, and a right destination. These destinations are also set in the inspector. When you press up, Mario is moved to the up destination if it exists, when you press down, Mario is moved to the down destination if it exists, and the same for right and left destinations. Nodes can be linked together to create simple looking world maps, but there are many cases where you don't want Mario to move in a straight line toward a node. That's what corners are for. Corners are marked by red dots and move Mario to a single destination as soon as he reaches a corner, which allows you to make paths with twists and turns. Corners have child objects called corner reverses, and when you're moving back to your previous corner, you should set the corner reverse as the destination, not the corner itself. Then you should set the corner reverse's destination to a previous destination. This will prevent something like this from happening. The last object I made to use in world maps are warps, which are marked by green dots. Warps teleport Mario to different places on the map. Warps also have child objects, and these are called warp exits. When teleporting from a warp to another warp, the first warp's destination needs to be the warp exit of the second warp. This will prevent infinite teleportation loops from happening. The warp exit acts as a corner and will move Mario to another destination. These are the current features you can use in world maps, but I plan on adding more to the project in the future. And of course, everything is completely open source if you want to add your own features to your maps. For the map's visuals, I simply used Unity's tile map system. So far, I've only created Super Mario Bros. Deluxe style maps, but the project can be easily adapted to create maps for any game style. After you create your world map, there are many different ways of actually sharing it with others. 
You can create a Windows build of the project, but that will definitely limit the amount of people who will actually try out your map. I think the best method of sharing is to export to a WebGL build. You can then host your map on your own website or on a site like Newgrounds or itch.io. People will be able to easily access your world maps this way. And thanks to Unity's cross-platform abilities, another cool thing you can do is create a mobile app of your world map. I think having a companion app for your Mario Maker levels is a really exciting possibility. If you want to check out World Map Maker, the link to the project's GitHub repository will be in the description. And as always, thanks so much for watching this video. If you have any feedback or suggestions for future content, feel free to let me know in the comments. That's everything, so thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.